Some of the uh, heavy allergy situations around here, you may not be too fond of what you're going to see here. Hickson, Tennessee, that falling tree causes <laughs> huge, major pollen bomb. Tree falls, cloud of pollen oh. releasing into the air. Thank goodness we weren't there. You could almost sneeze just looking at it, though, right? Yeah, yeah not something you want to uh, walk into, certainly, unless you want to start sneezing. Nobody wants to do that right in the middle of allergy season there. Same thing said here in Texas. But there are some things that you can do now to maybe make sure that the next few months are a little bit more bearable for you. Meteorologist Annalise Parks today explaining with some weather 101 and some science stuff. Spring. It's the season many look forward to when flowers bloom, days are lengthened, and there's a sense of renewal. That is unless you suffer from seasonal allergies. Experts say you're not alone as 50 million Americans suffer from allergies. <laughs> It starts from March and can go all the way through June. Different things come out at different times of the year. So it's a long season and it's getting worse and worse. One big factor that impacts daily pollen counts is the weather. For example, dry, windy days stir up pollen, causing symptoms to be worse, while rainy or humid days are better as moisture weighs down the pollen, keeping it on the ground. While you can't control the weather, there are aspects you can control to fight allergy season. Number one is maybe you want to delay your workouts in the morning and delay your showers to the evening. Uh, pollen counts are higher in the morning. Getting a jump start on medications is also beneficial. When you um, know the allergy season's coming and you know you suffer from allergies, you probably want to start with medications early. But that's not all. Did you know your diet impacts symptoms too? Allergy reducing food could help you battle through the season. Pineapple has an enzyme called bromelain. Bromelain is an anti inflammatory, anti allergy medication. That's right. Next time you're reaching for a snack, consider pineapple. Dr. Shaw also suggests oranges, lemons, greens, and local honey. But one popular item you may want to leave off the menu alcohol. If you have allergies, probably want to cut down. Um, there's a 78% more increased nasal congestion in people who drink um, 14 drinks a week, which is like two drinks a day. In Fort Worth, I'm Annalise Parks, CBS 11. And just so you know, if you just moved to North Texas, give it a little bit of time because like I did, I moved here and said, oh, I don't have allergies, not a problem. Dr. Shaw says there's a little bit of a honeymoon phase. True. On average, they say it takes about three to five years for allergies to develop in a new place.